I don't have a weapon yet. What's up, fool? I don't have a weapon? I don't have a weapon. Why the fuck don't I have a weapon? The Big Show. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Marana, and welcome to a new series kind of thingy. I know you were probably expecting uh, tibia footage, and that might still be quite some time from here. But until then, I have a Clash of Kings, which is a mod for Mount and Blade Warband. It's basically taking on the. Uh, the book of A Song of Fire and Ice, Ice and Fire, or as the TV series, you probably know it as uh, the Game of Thrones. So, but this is a mod based on a uh, medieval uh, strategy kind of hack and slash kind of game, uh, which is available on Steam, by the way, if you're curious. And the makers of this mod actually took this, uh, this base game and made kind of the uh, whole uh, fantasy world of uh, Game of Thrones. So yeah, we're uh, actually I've put quite some hours already in this mod, like maybe four or five hours. So I kind of know how it how it works. Uh, the version is 2.1, by the way. 2.2 uh, is out by now, but for some reason it keeps on crashing on my uh, system. So for now I'll use 2.1 until I have figured out what went wrong. So without further ado, let's start and I'll use a completely fresh game to uh, to really get the story going. So, you go for a stroll in the streets of your hometown when you hear that King Robert has been gored to death by a large boar. The fishmonger that you're speaking with tells you that Eddard Stark, the hand of the king, tried to usurp the throne. But the valiant King Joffrey advises... Mm -mm -mm. Wait one sec. But the valiant King Joffrey's advisors managed to foil his plot and peace has surely been restored. However, a few days later, a wary traveler arrives with more news. Oh, I'm so bad. I need some more coffee, I think. <laughs> Following the imprisonment of Lord Stark, the Northern Lord has lords marched south to defeat the Lannisters and free their liege. They ambushed the army of the Kingslayer, routed his forces, and captured Sir Jamie, after which they broke the siege of Ri River Run. All of a sudden, the odd seems to be turning against Joffrey, and his name is no longer shouted in the streets. Making a quick decision, you decide to strike out, hurriedly selling off your meager positions to a fat innkeeper and packing only the most essential. You finally feel like you control your own destiny. And that whatever course you take, great deeds will await you. Alright, so now it's time to pick a gender. I'll go with male. My father was a... A hunter. You spent your early life as... Um... A craftsman's apprent apprentice. Later you became a thief. The reason for adventure is Wanderlust. Yes. So I think I get some more power draw, which means I can use heavier bows. Yeah, this seems nice. This seems fine. You were born years ago. Your father was a hunter. Your family lived in the woods, doing the odd job for the local lord and even dabbling in some poaching from time to time. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as, the cra as a craftsman's apprentice. As a boy growing out of childhood, you apprenticed with a local craftsman from Duskendale. After years of hard work, and study under your new master, he promoted you to journeyman and employs you as a fully paid craftsman for as long as you wish to stay 
as you wished to stay. Then, as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became a thief. Dissatisfied with a simple life of laboring for coin, you took your local streets intent on help. You took to your local streets intent on helping yourself to you to what you needed in order to survive. You shun the standard laws of of man and have chosen to live by whatever rules allow you to avoid the headsman's block. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was wanderlust. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and became an adventurer. You're not even sure when your home became a prison, when the familiar became the mundane, when your dreams of wandering have taken over your life. Whether you yearn for some far away place or merely for the open road and the freedom of to and the freedom to travel, you could no longer bear to stay in the same place. You simply went and never looked back. As the common man, you may face some diff as a common man you may face some difficulties establishing yourself as an equal among the great lords. All right. Uh, I don't know what these two are, but I guess I can change them later on. What will the game's saving policy be? A realistic, not quitting without saving. Allow me to quit without saving. I think I'll go for the second one, but I'll, I'll, I won't pussy out. Like if I'm getting smashed in the face, I'll still save. It's not like I, um, um, it's not like I, I, I want to make a perfect uh, storyline, but uh, I want to have the freedom of uh, saving. I, 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 don't, I don't really trust the, the saving policy. Uh, without having your own control, if that makes sense. So I'll I'll pick the second one, but I'll manually do the first one. Now enter your name and distribute your attribute, skill, and weapon points. You can click on various elements on the screen to learn about he how each one will affect your character. All right, enter name here. Uh, I guess Morana. Yep. Uh, attributes strength every point every point adds one to hit points the following skill cannot be developed beyond one third of strength iron flesh power strike power throw and power draw I already have three power draw so I don't think it's that necessary I see I have some skills in one handed weapons which is nice and also in archery no no only in pole arms actually I don't care about pole arms for now because I want to make a little bit of an archer. Excuse me while I zip my coffee. So I think I'll need some archery or crossbows. I'm not really sure which one I want to use yet. But I can I can pick some personal skills as well, like like engineering or first aid or whatever. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put some in agility because that's always useful. Intellect is for Things like um, like tactics and tracking, which is nice too. Charisma is for leadership, which is probably useful too. And I'll oh, fuck it, I'll put one in strength. Uh, Iron flesh, I have 44 health. I'm not really sure how much that is anymore, but for now, iron flesh is not really necessary. I think power strike, uh, maybe for like when I have to switch to to melee. Power draw already have weapon master. I'm not at the point of where that matters yet. Athletics three, that's nice. Riding. I probably want to do riding at some point. Although as an archer, I like standing still more. But at some point, you're getting in so much battles. It's better to have a have a horse and just get the the petty fights over with quickly. Without having to rely on your AI uh, horse cavalry, but yeah, let's let's just leave those for now. Forging trainer trainer is nice to get your units up quickly. Tracking, okay, I cannot hire that. Uh, tactics, yeah, tactics is nice, but for now it's fine because I only probably face like small bands of bandits for now. Wound treatment, yeah, I'll probably 
get a different character for that to do all the the nursing and the taking care of people so i'll leave those engineering i'll probably get a separate guy for that too preservation yes that's nice and prisoner management for now is not needed i think or maybe it's it's nice to get your yeah it's nice to get your uh money up quickly if you catch some thieves and sell them leadership is probably pretty important too but for now i don't need leadership yet all right so let's either put this in archery or crossbows yeah i'm not really sure i'll mm, for now i'll put it in archery and it's not at that level yet where i have to worry that if i want to switch to crossbows it's i mean i can switch i will level the other ones up quickly enough all right adjust your character's face face using the buttons and the sliders to rotate the head click on it and drag the mouse this looks like a very young dude with who needs a haircut um i'll probably randomize for now that's a magnificent beard that's a monk that's uh unshaven dude it's a weird face it's a porn stash uh that's a uh, hanzo from overwatch um nah uh, i'm not really sure about the mustache either uh, poor choice of mustache either and but the eyebrows are uh, <laughs> what the fuck is up with the porn stashes oh jesus this guy had an accident it's like the guy from the walking dead like the the guy that's working for negan but no i don't want that either there's another monk another negan guy uh, another guy who i don't know what happened to his nose uh it's like the, the the what is he called wolverine with the burns uh surprised looking guy um okay well, I, I i probably have to do it myself so what i age like okay like somewhat experienced but not old hair color yeah this is fine uh face is fine i think F uh, yeah i can i can use all these sliders fuck that shit uh maybe i should pick a different hair yes still looks like a hobo okay this looks like like he's actually taking care of his hair in a medieval kind of way um i'm not really sure it doesn't really matter though but yeah that will clip with his equipment let's let's go for a hipster kind of shit yep He's, 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 this is going to be a hipster archer so even better hipster archer we're done you join a mer merchant and his family traveling towards storm's end green shoots of wheat barley and oats are all across the dark soil of the rolling hills and on the lower slopes of the snow-capped mountains herds of cattle aurochs and sheep are grazing on the summer grass Occasionally, too, you catch a sight of, gr of one of the great war horses that are the pride of the nobility. The land here is rich, but also troubled, as the occasional burnt out farm bears witness, a testament to the chaos the Tyrell host caused when it marched through 16 years earlier. You keep a wide berth of the forests where desperate men have taken refuge. While passing the burnt ruins of Summerhall, the merchant declares that he's changed his mind, wanting to, to take his wares to the Weeping Tower instead, having heard of Lysani galleys docking at a nearby harbor. That's a spelling mistake. Following a long trek through the rainwood, you finally see the Weeping Town in the distance. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn, 
where you quickly stash your belongings and go in search of a decent tavern where you can have a well-deserved dinner. These sentences are fucking long, man. According to an old blind man, sitting in the corner between two buildings and drinking a mug of stale ale, a kraken has been seen off the coast of Dorne and a five-headed calf has been born, killing its mother in the process. Surely an omen to be taken seriously. Dismissing the old fool as crazy, you continue towards the tavern. All of a sudden you hear a sound that stands the hairs in your ne of your neck on end. The rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. Dun dun dun. So now we finally get to pick our first fight. Do I have a weapon? I don't have a weapon yet. What's up, fool? I don't have a weapon? I don't have a weapon. Why the fuck don't I have a weapon? I don't have a weapon. What the fuck? And nobody can help me. No, I'll, I'll just die, I guess. You are struck down. However, before you lose consciousness, you hear shouts and a rush of food falls. You awake to find yourself indoors, weak but alive. So they just let me face a, an... A bandit with an axe without having weapons myself. Ospert Clerk. What up? Ah, you're awake. It is good to see that you can still walk. You're lucky that we came along. I have been speaking with the castle guards, castle guards when we heard the sounds of a fight and ran to see what is happening. I, I think you're overstating if you're saying it was a fight. It was just me getting smacked in the face with an axe. We didn't arrive in time to prevent you getting knocked down, but we may have saved you from getting your throat cut. Now, maybe you can help me. You seem a little disoriented. I do not know who you are or where you're from, and to tell you the truth, I don't I do not care. I'm just a simple merchant, and I've learned if I've learned anything, it's that merchants are the first to suffer in hard times. So I am planning to travel to another country, peaceful and rainless, I hope. I have heard that in the free cities gold flows from watery fountains, so maybe I'll go try my fortune in Pentos or Volantis. Anyways, I advise you, before I leave, to do the same and seek your own fortune in other lands. War is sure to engulf the seven kingdoms, kingdoms now that the hand has been executed, and the people will be n nothing more than war fodder. Poverty feeds on the weak, and the strong men abuse the sword and the lands to impose their power and control over the humble ones. In order to trade, we must pay a heavy taxes in each city, sort out bandits and pirates, and pray that a local lord, ignorant and lazy, do not decide to get half of our merchandise to fund his next feast or buy a new horse for his son. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Take my advice and go across the narrow sea, until a new king has been crowned and anointed by the High Septon. Law and unity will remain a vulture's feasting table. So I say, seek your destiny elsewhere. I think I'll stay, war brings opportunity and I mean to seize my chance, make a name for myself, go to Essos, what do I care? Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go to Essos. I'm leaving to Pentel soon. Would you like would you not like to consider joining me? Ah okay, you cannot even you can't even <laughs> like you can't even You can only say you go to Essos. Oh I'm sorry dude, I did not meant to be rude. I just said I thought I said I'll go to Essos, I don't care. But it's more like I was being rude to you. I'm sorry dude. You treated me like this guy helped me not get my throat cut, so I should be more thankful. But the game doesn't let me. Anyway, let's just leave. And Alright, I'm at the Weeping Tower. 
So now I have no quests whatsoever, and I have no army whatsoever. But maybe I can get some quests in the Weeping Town. You are now viewing the over. Yeah. Uh, blah 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 blah. Yeah, I, I know how this game works. Thank you. The town of Weeping Town appears to be struggling. You hear the occasional grumble. Okay, so it's a, it's a poor town. All right, I can join the melee, but I'm not sure. I do I have weapons already. Take a walk in the streets. I guess I'll do that and then see if I can get any quests. I don't have weapons, right? Okay, why does this? Why does it teleport me like 50 kilometers from the gate? Let's see if we can get some quests here, and otherwise I'll just visit some castle instead. Because right now I do not have enemies, so it's not like I have to be on guard for big armies or whatsoever. What's up, fool? He calls me my lord, even though I think I'm not of noble birth. Uh, any rumor? They say that either row Prestain is a good man and treats people living in this lands decently. What is more than what can be said for most nobles? Sure, sure, whatever, man. That sounds cool. Sounds like sounds like he's a cool dude. All right, but let's get some real quests. Maybe maybe we can get an army of some sort, or at least some archers or you know guards. Because right now I'm on my own, and if I travel in the world, I and I get attacked by bandits. Horse merchant, I don't think I have money for that shit yet. Why are you standing on a box of begging brother? Do you have need for holy men? I'm looking for a master. We'll join you for 20 coins. Sounds good, but I cannot afford yeah. Alright, I don't have the money. So I don't have 20 coins, apparently. So horse merchant, no, no money. What's this guy? Armor? Nope. Let's see, this is a trade screen? Yeah, I know the trade screen. Ah, and there I have a sword. Ah, I, d I don't have the... <laughs> Alright. So I probably should sell my sword and get... Ah, it requires 10 strength. Ah, I don't have that kind of strength. Cool, cool, cool. So I probably... Yeah, I should go to the... Uh, armsman or the guy that sells weapons but they don't that's a holy man is this guy selling weapons yeah weaponsmith weaponsmith is standing on the, the crate what's up fool uh, so I probably should buy a very cheap bow or whatever if I have the money I don't have money this sells for 138 and the cheapest bow is like 300. Fuck my life. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh man, I should... I. Pff. So I have to level up my strength in order to get like my sword skills. In order to use my sword in the first place. In order to get get money for a bow, because my I probably invested wrongly in my skills. And now I cannot find any quests. Okay. Join the melee. Yeah, I can do that, I guess. Let's see how bad it is. Do I have... Nope, I still don't have a sword or what the, whatever. So I'll let them fight it out. And then see if I can... Um, like, at least win some money from this. 
I'll hold my my guys back, and then when once they finished each other, yeah, now charge. Can I pick up some? Yep, it's at least a shield. Can I pick up a sword too, please? Yes, alright. Fight in the next round. Guys, stay close. Let them let them kill each other. And then we'll rush in. And hopefully win some. Because I really need the money to get a cheap bow. Because right now I'm pretty stuck without weapons. Alright, now charge. And protect me. <laughs> because <laughs> I cannot defend myself. Oh, now they're chasing me. Oh fuck, now the... <laughs> oh. Okay, oh, I can only equip the shields. Oh, okay. Appar apparently my tactics are superior to the other people. Uh, fight in the next round. I, will, I won't place any bets because I don't have any money. Follow me guys. Wait for them to finish each other. No homo though. Oh shit. Okay now. Charge then. I'll see if I can pull my weight. No! Oh shit. Still no weapons that I can pick up. Uh, yeah, we're screwed. Yep. I hope I get some money out of this at least. Sir Tybalt Chester. No idea who that is. As the only man to remain undefeated this day, Sir Holster... Hoster Rivers wins the love of the small, f small folk and the glory of this melee. So it turns out I chose less than 12 strength for uh, my base stats for my character and I have been given a 12 strength uh, sword so I cannot automatically equip it. It's a mod, it's not a professional game studio whatsoever so yeah these things tend to happen. So that's why I'm basically stuck without a uh, basic equip uh, equipment and stuff. So that makes the game really hard. So uh, in order to get the story going, I cheated uh, some money. Actually, I, I used um, a cheat to get some money, like very basic money, and then get me some basic uh, equipment that I can use so I can at least survive like two bandits. So I'll continue in the next episode uh, from that point on out because uh, like fighting all these people without weapons made no sense whatsoever. So, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode. And, yeah, see you then.